Hi, my name is Kayleen and welcome to my channel. We're going to be crocheting this double layered ruffled scrunchie. And it's really really easy to replace the elastic. To make this scrunchie, you will need an elastic hair tie with a diameter of 1.5 to 2 inches. Mine is 1.5 inches. The yarn that I'm going to be using is fine weight cotton yarn and the hook size is 4 millimeters. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and it's also helpful to have a stitch marker. So grab your materials and let's get started. You begin with a chain of at least 70, so here's my chain of 70. If you're using a hair tie with a larger diameter, I suggest that you add at least 4 chains. The more chains you make, the more volume you add, just make sure you stick to an even number of chains. So after you've made a chain of at least 70, run your fingers down the chain to make sure it is not twisted. And once you get to the bottom of the chain, bring it up to form a circle. Now make a slip stitch into the last chain to close up the circle. Now we begin round 1 with the chain of 3. This will count as one double crochet, so use your stitch marker to mark the third chain from the bottom. Now chain 1. So you should have a total of 4 chains here. Now grab your hair tie and hold it underneath your chain. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to skip one chain, then make a double crochet into the next chain behind your elastic. So yarn over and stick your hook behind your elastic, then into the next chain. chain 1. And you'll see that I've just locked the elastic inside the chain 1 gap in between these two double crochets. Next, you're going to skip one chain, then make the next double crochet into the next chain, this time in front of the elastic. So pull the chain forward and make the double crochet into the next chain. Chain 1. Next, skip one chain and make a double crochet into the next chain behind your elastic. So yarn over, stick your hook behind the elastic into the next chain. Chain 1. Next, skip one chain, then make a double crochet into the next chain in front of the elastic. So pull the chain forward and make the double crochet. Chain 2. Skip one chain and make the next double crochet behind the elastic into the next chain. Chain one. Then again, skip one chain, pull forward, and make a double crochet into the next chain in front of the elastic. Chain 1. 
This is how my work looks now, and I think you're beginning to see the pattern of making a double crochet in chain 1 into every other chain, alternating between going in front and the back of the elastic. So continue doing this until you get to the end of the chain. Alright, this is how it looks at the end of the round. You see all the double crochets bunched together, and the elastic is locked inside the chain 1 gaps. It's a little difficult to see, but after you made the last double crochet and chain 1 in front of the elastic, there should be one chain remaining at the end of the round, and this here is the slip stitch that I made in the beginning. Then we finish off this round by making a slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom, right where the stitch marker is. Now we begin round 2 with a chain of 3, counting as 1 double crochet. Now mark the 3rd chain with your stitch marker. Now chain 1. Next, make another double crochet back into the same chain where the slip stitch is. Then chain 1. This forms a V-stitch followed by this chain 1. Now make another V-stitch into the top of the next double crochet. So skip this chain 1 space and make another double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Chain 1. Then put another double crochet back into the same stitch. Chain 1. So there's another V stitch followed by chain 1. Now do the same into the top of the next double crochet. So skip this chain 1 space and make another V stitch on top of the next double crochet. So double crochet, chain 1, then another double crochet back into the same stitch. Followed by chain 1. So continue doing this to the end of the round. I'm back at the end of round 2. If you started with 70 chains like I did, you're going to have 35 V-stitches, all separated by chain 1 spaces. Now to finish off this round, after you've made the last V-stitch and chain 1, make a slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom where the stitch marker is. Now let's begin round 3. Chain 1, then make a single crochet into the same chain where the slip stitch is. Mark the top of this first single crochet. Now chain 3, then make a single crochet into the first chain 1 space. Chain 3, then make a single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Again, chain 3, and single crochet into the next chain 1 space. Chain 3, single crochet into the next double crochet. Chain 3, single crochet into the next chain 1 space. Chain 3, then repeat all the way around. Alright, I'm back at the end of round 3. 
Once you've made the last single crochet and chain 3 in the last chain 1 space, simply make a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. This finishes round 3 and we're also done with the first layer. Before we move on to the second layer, cut and weave in the end of your yarn. And I like to leave a long end and weave it in all the way just to make sure it doesn't come undone later. We're all done with the first layer, and it's perfectly fine to stop here with only one layer, but I really recommend making the second layer because with more volume, I think it'll look so much better on your hair. Look at the difference here. And before moving on, let me explain a little about what I told you earlier about replacing the elastic. So by now you probably noticed that the elastic looks like it has been woven under and over, under and over the double crochets in the first round. This means that if this elastic is stretched out, you can buy a new piece of elastic cord and weave it in the same way. Then simply tie a knot to connect the two ends. But I suggest that you weave in the new piece of elastic before you cut and remove the old one so that it's a lot easier to weave in. Okay, so now that you know what I'm talking about, without further ado, let's begin making the second layer. You begin the second layer with the wrong side of your work facing up. For the first round of the second layer, we're going to be working into the chain 1 spaces where the foundation chain is. These are the chains that we skipped in the very beginning. So it's not the chain 1 spaces at the top of round 1, but it's the spaces at the bottom where the skipped chains are. So go ahead and make a slip knot. Then attach your yarn with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into any one of these chain 1 spaces at the bottom. Then pull through to make a slip stitch. Now begin with a chain of 3, counting as one double crochet. Mark the third chain. Now chain 1. Next, make another double crochet back into the same space. Chain 1. This forms a V-stitch followed by chain 1, just like in round 2 of the first layer. So I think you guessed it, we're going to make another V-stitch into the next chain 1 space. So double crochet into the next chain 1 space, chain 1, then put another double crochet into the same space. Followed by chain 1. Then go ahead and do the same into the next chain 1 space. Double crochet into the next chain 1 space, chain 1, then another double crochet into the same space. Chain 1. We're simply repeating round 2 of the first layer. The only difference is that we're working into the spaces instead of working into the top of double crochet stitches. Repeat all the way around and you will end up with the same number of these stitches as in round 2. Here's how my work looks by the end of the round. You finish off this round with a slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom just like in round 2 of the first layer. To begin the next round for the second layer, chain 1, then single crochet into the same chain. Chain 1. 
mark the top of this first stitch. Now chain 3, then single crochet into the first chain 1 space. Chain 3, single crochet into the top of the next stitch. Then again, chain 3, single crochet into the next chain 1 space. Chain 3, and I think you guessed it. Single crochet into the top of the next stitch. We're simply repeating round 3 of the first layer. So go ahead and continue to the end of the round. I'm all done and I've cut my yarn. Once you've made the slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet, you can cut and fasten off the same way as before. And we're all finished. Thank you for watching and following along. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful in any way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with anyone who might like it. If you made this scrunchie, I'd be really happy to hear from you, so please do leave me a comment. And I'll see you again in my next video.